This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, build your online presence with Squarespace. Hey everyone, I'm Ace of Clay and welcome to another sculpting video. If you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture. Today, I wanted to make a creepy killer Oompa Loompa, but he actually turned out kind of cute. I don't know, some of you may still think he's creepy, but you let me know in the comments after you see him. And with that, we're gonna keep the intro short and sweet and start sculpting. All right, let's get started. I'm starting with the armature, of course, shaping out the legs and torso, and then adding the arms with a smaller piece of wire. I'm then going to brush on some bacon bond so that my Super Sculpey Ultralight that I use to bulk this guy out will stick very well to that aluminum wire. I also pressed the legs into some pre-drilled holes in my base. Now I just want to shape out the armature. This step can also be done with aluminum foil, but I like ultralight because it gives me more control. Now let's bake it. And once he's baked, we're going to start covering it with our final layer of clay. For the body on this project, I'm using some Super Sculpey Original. Just added that thin layer over all of my ultralight, start shaping out the legs and the pants, and then move our way onto the other leg, blend everything in really nice, add some folds and wrinkles so it looks like cloth, and go from there. Now I'm just taking some flattened snakes of clay and capping off the legs so it looks like he's wearing pants. Using my cone rubber shaper, I just want to add a couple more wrinkles here and there and some texture. Now using another flattened snake of clay, we are going to create the waistline for this guy and then we are going to blend that bottom edge into the rest of the body. And boom, he's wearing pants. With some more flattened snakes of clay, we're going to create the straps for his overalls. These sort of crisscross over each other like that. And then of course we're going to stick on some buttons and flatten them down. And add the little holes. And once the upper body is looking pretty good, let's go ahead and throw on his shoes. And to finish them off, we're going to add a little dot of bacon bond to each one so we can add those really big pom-poms or balls that are on there. And then the left one's looking a little bigger than the right one, so we're going to have to fix that. And just like that, his body's done. Let's pre-bake him. And while that's baking, let's start the head. I'm covering this ball of aluminum foil in some Super Sculpey Living Doll. I'm using Living Doll for the face just because it's a super premium polymer clay. It blends beautifully and it's great for detail and faces, in my opinion. Now I want him to have an open mouth, so I'm going to carve that out with my Excel blade. Use code Ace of Clay at ExcelBlades.com to save 15% on your purchase. Let's take out all that excess foil. Add some clay to fill it out, round everything out with this large ball stylus, and go from there. This is the ugly stage of the sculpture. This is the part where you really, where I really have no idea what I'm doing, and I'm just kind of going with it. I know that I want him to have an open mouth, obviously, but I'm not sure what I want his face to look like. I want him to be creepy, but I wouldn't be mad if he wasn't creepy. You know, in the intro, I say he kind of turns out cute, so. Um, you can let me know what you think of that at the end. But let's go ahead and punch out his eyes and see if we can get anywhere with this. All right, we're gonna go with some jolly looking round cheeks. So let's go ahead and press those on. Now to continue framing his face, let's throw on a chin. Now using my rubber shaper, I'm going to create some smile lines and wrinkles here and there. 
and throw in his eyeballs. I want him to have very, very wide eyes. And when I start adding these under eye bags, this is when I realize that he might come out kind of cute. <laughs> And with some super thin snakes of clay, let's add his upper lids. And now it's time for his little nose. Just this little raindrop shape is all we need. And a couple little balls for nostrils. And here I'm just making sure that those nasolobial creases line up correctly with the nose. You don't want them to hit a different part because it'll throw the face off and you won't really know why. Just make sure they're coming from up top of those nostrils. Now let's just add some more wrinkles here and there, some on the forehead, some under the eyes. Love this cone shaper. Now he's gonna have some big bushy white eyebrows. So let's go in and press on these little snakes and get them textured. Now for some more wrinkles. I was thinking the mouth is missing something and oh, it's the top lip. So let's go ahead and get that added. Here I started adding his teeth and then I realized that I need to give him a tongue first. So go ahead, add the tongue, blend everything in and then start placing the rest of the teeth. We're going to take a quick break from our video to talk about our sponsor, Squarespace. Whether you're a big business, a small business, a freelance designer, or a sculptor like me, Squarespace has everything you need to showcase your brand, sell your products, and more. I've been using Squarespace for over four years now, even before they started sponsoring me, and I could not be happier with my experience. Their products are so streamlined and so easy to use that managing my website, aceofclay.com, is truly a breeze. Some of my favorite features include the portfolios and galleries 
galleries. In my line of work, I have to show my art to the world and Squarespace's beautiful portfolios allow me to do just that. I opened my online store where I sell stickers, posters, plushes, and more. And Squarespace makes everything so easy. I can track my inventory, print shipping labels, I get notifications when something sells, and everything I need is right there in the platform. You can even sell digital downloads. They really have everything you need to start selling online. And at this day and age, if you're an online business, you've got to have a social media presence and Squarespace allows you to integrate all of your social media platforms into any page of your website. So if everything I said sounds good, head on over to squarespace.com, start a free trial, and when you're ready to go live, go to squarespace.com slash aceofclay to save 10% on your purchase of a website or domain using my code aceofclay. Thanks again, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. Now back to our sculpture. All right, let's get those teeth in. Now to finish off this guy before we bake him, I'm going to brush on or dab on some bacon bond here and there because it gives it a really nice texture that I think is great for skin when used correctly. So I'm just dabbing it on with this little filbert brush that I always use for my bacon bond and we're getting that texture. Now let's bake it. And once he's baked, he's nice and hard and we're gonna start adding the hair, but not before we add some more bacon bond. And we're going to add the hair. This is Super Sculpey Original. I'm using it just because it's very soft and it's just easier to just press it onto his face without, you know, cracking anything off. And I just want to add the general shape of his hair, add some extra pieces on the side, get it all blended in, add this nice little sort of page boy curl at the bottom, get that blended in. And then I'm going to use my gouging tool to start shaping out the different shapes in the hair like this. So just make some swirls here and there, make sure it makes sense, make sure they're all coming from, you know, the same point. And these are going to be here and there. And then we're going to fill in all the spaces in between the deeper grooves with some finer lines. Now, after we got the big gouges in, we're going to go in with like the edge of my spoon tool, my explorer tool and so on and fill in all those gaps and this is honestly the step that never ends it's like that lamb chop song oh, this is the song that doesn't end yeah so just keep going and going until you're satisfied <laughs> Now for his bangs, I'm gonna use Cosclay because it stays flexible and it's got this little swirly thing on top. So we're gonna use it for that. And then add some more little snakes to add dimension. His head is done let's set it aside and finish the body by adding the arms i want him to be in this sort of surprised excited pose so we're just going to bend the armature like that add some bacon bond of course and start covering it in our super sculpey original are shaped out we're just going to add some texture with my rubber shaper and for his excited little fingers of course for the hands we're using cosplay again just going to have them in this upward pose kind of you know jazz hands excited whatever you want to call it And 
And after finishing off the arms with some cuffs for the wrists, we're going to attach the head with some bacon bond and get it to stay still. And I'm gonna check it nice and close. Yeah, is it on? It's on, let's bake them. And once he's baked and completely cooled down, it's time for paint. I'm using Army Painter War Paints for this entire project. I'm mixing some Barbarian Flesh in with, I think, like, Goblin Orange or something. And creating his nice orange skin tone. And using some watered down dark brown, we're going to accentuate all of the wrinkles and some of the recessed areas on his face. And for a quick dry brushing highlight, I'm just putting on some lighter orange on his cheeks, forehead, tip of his nose, and his chin. Now I'm going to paint the whites of his eyes and add the irises and pupils. Sometimes I can create the irises in like one fell swoop, but today was not that day and I had to mess with them for a little bit, but we get there. Now let's add his little tiny pupils and let's paint his eyebrows white. Look at that white coverage. Can't forget the little white reflections in his eyes. Now let's move on to the inside of his mouth. I'm using Crusted Sore for this. This is such a good mouth color. I use it for every open mouth I make, I feel like. And after finishing the teeth, let's go ahead and paint his clothes brown and white. <laughs> Again, this white is great. I really only needed like two coats of it. I probably could have done three, but two got the job done. Now we just kind of finish off these stripes on his socks and sleeves, and then we can paint his hair. And the hair is really what brings it all together. <laughs> that nice shade of green.
and we're gonna go with a nice black base because I like black bases. Now say it with me. And he's done! My creepy or cute Oompa Loompa is complete. Let me know how you think I did in the comments. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I wanted to make a scary, creepy Oompa Loompa, but that's just not how he turned out. Look at him, he's just so excited to see you. I love the face sculpt, this is a really fun project. As I say about all of my projects, I don't make, a, I don't make something if it's not fun. So, and as always, thank you so much for watching and being here. Be sure to grab your Winston plush, your sculpt like a monster mat. Join my Facebook group, Snakes of Clay. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, at Ace of Clay, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.